So that's Adam Skates. And if you squint really, really hard, you might be able to imagine Adam as Elmo, right? And you touch Adam on the nose, and Adam dances, and it's like, oh, I kind of get it. And we get to a yes. We, we build this prototype in one hour. We ship it off to the East Coast. In one hour, we make a prototype, and our partners at Sesame Street say yes. Right? And this, when you are prototyping, when you are experimenting, is really, really important to define for yourself what is the goal of this experiment. We were not trying to win over a customer. We were not trying to win over Apple to list it on their site. That all comes later. We were just trying to get one yes from one team in New York. And we got to the yes. Right? And we waited, I would say, two or three days after they said yes before we later told them, hey, you know that prototype? You know that app that we prototyped? You know there's no software there. There's really no app at all. In fact, you know there's no hardware either. That is not an iPhone you are looking at. What that is is Adam standing behind, oh, standing behind a piece of cardboard with a hole cut in it. And that's his colleague, Colita, filming with the webcam on her Mac and got it in a single cut, made that prototype, shipped it off to New York. Right? Here's the thing. We got to yes in an hour. If you can get to yes in an hour, don't spend that second hour. For God's sake, don't spend a day. Right? You want to be the fastest, cheapest prototyper in your organization. Right? And think, OK, maybe your business feels a little more complex than, than apps for Sesame Street. But imagine you could prototype your idea, make your idea come to life, paint a picture of the future with your idea in it, and you can do it in an hour. Think how many ideas you could float out into the world. <laughs>